Smoke a purse so sweet with Hot Thoughts TV. Y'all know what the fuck we doing, man. It's Hot Thoughts TV. Niggas hot in the beach, man. I'm smoking a purse so sweet with Hot Thoughts TV. For sure. So, um, coming up, I feel like I heard a lot. And like I said, I, I'm not too familiar, but just off of hearing things, yeah. I heard there was a, at, at one point in time, where it was damn near the north and the south, and there was like a little conflict in between. Yeah. So, uh, if you can speak on, like, what was maybe some of the things that attributed to that? Um, it's just niggas being niggas. It's just the bottom line. It's street shit. It had nothing to do with music. You know what I'm mm. saying? It, it trickled over to the music, but, you know, um, Houston's, Houston's the fourth largest city. So, you know, where the South Side niggas was known more for selling dope and having big money and... You know, the North Side niggas was no more for robbing, jacking, you know, being so called country braids and fades and you know, that was the that was the difference. So it's just, you know, look, you know, I try to figure it out sometimes so that look, but you know, like I said, when when have niggas ever needed a good reason to fight? It's just the bottom line. It don't matter if it's north side, south side, Houston, west side, south side, Chicago, you go to any major city. Unfortunately, that's the, I don't, you know, we got to do better. I'm, I'm, I hate even saying we got to do better, but there was a division, you know, and it was more because uh, the mind states were considered to be different and it, it splashed out into different things. But I don't think there's any one good excuse to say this is why the north side, south side, you know what I'm saying? Yeah. There's no good excuse for how it came to that. So uh, recently, one thing that's been everywhere, I'm not sure if you've seen it, mm -hmm. but uh, it's Kanye West. Mm -hmm. Started with the White Lives Matter and yeah. up to him basically, you know, of course. his rent. What's, what's your thoughts on all of that that's playing now? Uh, I, to be honest with you, uh, I, I, don't, I don't give it any thought, man, because uh, I don't take it. I, I think we have biggest shit to worry about, man. It's just like, I think I think I think after a while I think people have to use start using their own common sense and start knowing when you're being used as um clout attention like you got to start giving you know so much attention to the I, I don't I don't believe in in, in in being very emotionally charged I think people that that think and go off emotion tend to be more weak. You know what I'm saying? Him doing a White Lives Matter shirt, it's like, uh, yeah, I think it's stupid, but it ain't gonna ruin my day. All these niggas yeah. killing each other out here, all the bad shit that's going on, just scroll down social media, and this is what's gonna make me say, enough is enough. Right. If I think if we used half of the anger that we used on Kanye wearing that White Lives Matter shirt. If we even used 25% of that outrage into the same outrage when a nigga killed some, uh, when well, niggas killing each other, do you know what would happen? Change. Niggas don't want, so what, so what, what, me talking about a White Lives Matter t shirt that does absolutely. It's just it's it's wasted energy, man. It's just you know I rather I I rather keep my eyes on the prize, man. You can't trick me off the streets like that. Okay, someone someone's saying something for cloud, and then and then I also think it's important, no matter what it is. I just think it's important black men are allowed to express themselves and have different opinions. Period. You know whether I agree with it or not. You know what I'm saying? And to be clear, I don't agree with it. You know what I'm saying? But. I think it's very scary when we're told that we all have to agree and believe in the same things because for there to be change, there has to be ideas. Yeah. There have to be discussions. There has to be, and we have to be able to do that in an intelligent manner and people should not be stoned, you know, for having different ideas. You know what I'm saying? Freedom of speech. Yeah, yeah it's, and, then, and then it's like, I think it's important that, it's important that we have our own. Like, I think we're too quick to stone our own. 
You know what I'm saying? People, why you going people out like he asking me, oh, you gonna quit buying Kanye shoes? Yeah, if he put something out, yeah, I'm gonna buy him. Why the fuck wouldn't I buy him? I'm not emotionally attached, so you want me to stop supporting the richest black man in American history, self-made, didn't touch dope, did it the right way. You want me to stop supporting him because a White Lives Matter t-shirt? Okay, and even if I do that, then what am I going to do? Who am I going to support then? What, I'm supposed to stop supporting him and, and go support these other companies that really hate niggas for real, for real? You just don't know it yet? Right. You know what I'm saying? So you want me to stop supporting him and then go to the mall and knock down Saks Fifth and, 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 and feel like I'm doing something where I'm just really just hurting, hurting, hurting someone from my community. You know what I'm saying? Whether I like him or not, man. Look, man, I'm going to always root, especially if you're doing it the right way. I'll never, you know, I'm just not fast to just tear down other black men. And I'll never be that way. We don't all have to get along. We don't have to all think the same, you know, as long as no one's uh, putting hands, as long as we can respect each other or just stay apart from each other, then you're allowed to thrive. You know what I'm saying? For sure. For real, because it's like, you know. Niggas will, niggas will want to throw you away and then get up and go to the mall and support everybody else that really hates you. 